that's what I'm going to do. So as I already said, if you come along heating engagement in your enterprise social network and you're either a manager of the entire enterprise social network or um, of one of the communities, that's always a little bit embarrassing. Um, and um, we experienced this as well at Siemens Health News. We have a Yammer network and uh, I'd like to yeah, take you with me on, some, on a little journey on how we might maybe deal with that. Um, I've been working for Siemens Southern News for nearly uh, over 32 years now. Um, I am one of the Yammer admins and my slogan is opening doors, so facilitating and encouraging virtual collaboration in the digital company. And I'm also part of the Digital Together initiative that we have at our, at our company. So I already said it, if you see um, conversations that go weird, so where people make uh, weird comments, uh, even sometimes insulting others, uh, that leaves us a little bit helpless, embarrassed, sometimes we are even getting angry, but how to best deal with that? Uh, when this first came up during the pandemic, um, I also shared these feelings and uh, my first and foremost suggestion is breathe and keep calm. Try to understand the situation, so what is really happening, analyze it and then take appropriate action. So don't jump in um, from out of your gut feelings that might be the worst way to go. Yes, conversations can go high. We always have an opinion that we want to share with others, that we want to discuss with others. That's definitely okay. But within a company, even more within a company compared to the outside words, it's not okay to be very negative, continuously negative, and also insulting because we have to collaborate. And from my feeling, as a community manager of our Yammer network, I want to stop this as Im immediately when I come across something like that. So when I first dig into the matter, um, I did it um, with a little research and I thought to myself, is this a shitstorm? You all know this notion. But a shitstorm, how do you feel about this, this term? It makes me anxious. But I learned from my research that you can do something against a shitstorm. So for me now, it's more avalanche-like. It comes out of nowhere, but it has a reason and it accelerates. And there is negative criticism from people, from drivers. We will have a look at this as well. But if you know about all the mechanisms, you have some means at hand that you maybe can't stop the avalanche or redirect it. And like an avalanche, it will stop anyway after a certain period of time. That's also good to know because it all also helps you to stay calm. So if you look at uh, what others um, say about shit storms, about the phases, I like to speak of shit avalanches. avalanches. There are six different phases and you see different uh, levels on engagement here. And this is very uh, important to know because you need to know where you are at and where you may be going to. And I asked myself, hmm, people always say to talk about negative criticism and insulting criticism. What the heck is this? So I digged into um, several other resources like, for example, the Merriam-Webster uh, dictionary and uh, things I found on the internet. And this is what I found there. So negative criticism is being against something, continuously against it, charged by negative emotions. And there is no purpose in helping to mitigate the issue, but the purpose is only on showing that something is wrong, false, and well, yeah, it doesn't work. And insulting criticism, there's always someone um, that's, that's being attacked, either a person or a group of people. And it does something with the people in the middle of this shit. Um, and it's not good because it deteriorates their motivation. Um, it deteriorates um, their, their feeling of being comfortable. Um, and it leaves a, a lot of negative effects because it creates stress. And what I also learned. An avalanche or a shitstorm has drivers, four different types of drivers, and to know them 
is the first way to decide what to do and how to approach these people. And don't do this only backed on gut feeling, but do this backed on data. So monitor your community very closely and continuously, and then you learn who might be different, uh, who might be uh, might be um, different, um, might have certain roles within your community. And also back this by data. And um, here on the slide, you see some things that I try to figure out for our Yammer community, for, for the entire meta community, like for example, activists, uh, they, they, they are very active um, in the community. They have a lot of um, posts or comments always compared to what they usually do on, on the community. Um, and um, also have a look at um, how the reactions are from others. Um, shit storms, shit avalanches always have uh, underlying drivers as well. So if someone who is who's very negative, very insulting, has a lot of followers, this might accelerate the entire thing as well because yeah, they follow a, a certain person because they feel accustomed with what uh, this person uh, talks about, tells about about their opinions. So don't neglect this. And whatever you see, sit back, breathe, stay calm, and analyze. Don't directly jump into the heating conversation. That's the worst thing that you could do. So what is negative, insulting criticism. Try to analyze the tonality. These are some examples of what I have seen and what I take as either negative or even insulting criticism. It may be different by at, at your side. It also depends on um, what um, how the company culture looks like, for example. Um, at Siemens Health and Years, um, in our business conduct guidelines, um, we, uh, we, we have to, to apply to that. We always be respectful and polite with each other and open and transparent, but being polite and, 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 and respectful is one um, of the things that, um, yeah, that are inherent in our company culture. And the gut feeling is always a nice thing, but put facts, um, as the basics. So try to figure out data. Um, right now, we can't do this um, automatically, so I have to do this manually when I see that there is something coming up. So like, for example, sample, try to figure out how many posts in that community on a certain topic in a certain period of time um, have a negative feedback, how many shares are there, how many uh, reactions are there, and also try to figure out how this evolves over time. So this is uh, something here, because then you can also see uh, where you might be at and where you might be heading to. And this also defines um, the actions that you might want to take. And as I already said, also try to figure out who are your uh, types, major types of drivers, because this will also give you an angle or a lever um, to best act on this, not react, act on this. And this is something I also came across. I talked to some people within uh, my company and they said to me, ah, yeah, Claudia, well, we have 4,000 people in this community and only 88 are, are complaining. Is this really risky? And yes, it is. First of all, those folks might be internal influences. You don't know this. And you should also look at who is speaking up. A shitstorm in a shit avalanche usually comes up when people are touched at their hearts, when something is negatively engaging them, when, when it stirs them up, when it makes them angry. And you will find people that for the first time ever um, have the guts to speak up openly. And this is really risky because this can even um, yeah, um, accelerate the entire thing. And then from all that, so when you know how the negative conversations have been evolving over time, so you know the phase you are in, 
you know the major type of driver in your community, then from there you can derive um, an action list. So like, as for example, for the community managers team. Um, this is very important, like for example, within um, our Yammer network, um, we had a community on our intranet project and uh, people were not happy with uh, what was happening uh, with uh, the new intranet and they started um, started um, very negative conversations in that community um, over a long period of time so it did not go down after some days it lasted for half a year and it was always going um, going up and up and up and when we had a look at what people were criticizing, we found out that there were certain topics and this gave us an angle for things that we could mitigate. Like for example, pe people were requiring um, a quick links list. Uh, when we have, as, as the project team, we had thought of ourselves, our quick links are outdated. We no longer will provide them to this to them. But this was what made people content with the new intranet if they had it. So. From that, we learned that we need to reintroduce the quick links list. So it really gave us things to mitigate at hand that in the end helped us to calm down the entire um, yeah, bad, bad shitstorm there. So you know all about this. So you are in phase one, two, three whatsoever. You know your, your most important drivers and you know about the most important tops, topics um, being currently discussed and from there on you can go on. So you can derive actions from this. These are suggestions. Um, it differs um, from, from company to company, but this is what a lot of people um, outside also recommend. And um, if you are a community manager, so you're in um, the, the entire network is not in your area of responsibility. Um, so, for example, if you see that something is uh, starting, always give a heads up to your um, enterprise social network admin or team. And from phase two, whatever you do in your community, my recommendation is to align any action with um, your enterprise social network admin team. Uh, don't go there alone. Sometimes, um, you may be lucky and um, your um, <clears throat> enterprise social network is also part of your crisis um, crisis process. Um, then if it really goes weird, this will help you as well. And this is why it is so important to align any action as, as early as possible uh, with those responsible for the entire enterprise social network. And as I said before, it's, it becomes even more important um, the more weird the situation becomes. Um, so don't go there alone. Um, in the end, I think um, the only way out will really uh, be um, to follow the steps um, outlined in a crisis uh, mitigation process if you have one. Well, um, the drivers, you need to take care of them as well. On this slide, you see some of the suggestions how to deal with them. Um, if you have some influential people, so people who are really interested in solving the issue, what you can do is um, contact them behind the scene, um, invite them to uh, contribute and, um, and shape um, the mitigation together with you and the team. Um, so this will also ensure you a lot of buyout there, buy in there. With the others, it's sometimes uh, really tricky. Um, so um, if you have a lot of trolls, um, they are only about having fun and instilling um, negativism on that enterprise uh, social network. Um, so there you have to be a good moderator. Uh, we found out that it's not advisable to um, directly address trolls and stormers because this gives them the attention that they want to have. So um, there are better ways um, and if they continue with uh, ranting in the enterprise social network, warn them. Um, then try to ignore them. And um, if it still goes weird, um, then yeah, it definitely is time and to 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 um, help ask your enterprise social network admins um, to help here. 
and also maybe it is uh, time to take some appropriate actions um, on the crisis mitigation process. What you need to have always, and I'm just moving a little bit forward, is to have rules or um, as Rachel Happy from the community roundtable once said, um, have a garden really and like it is with flowers, uh, with beans, they need something to grow. And this is a trilly, so rules how people should behave in your community are very, very important because if they don't know what they are allowed to do and what is expected behavior, how shall they know if they are not, in comp not complying with this? So this is very important. I'm going back a little bit. 12 tips that we found out uh, when there is seating conversation in your enterprise social network or in your community. As I said, breathe and stay calm. Keep this in mind all the time. And uh, we also recommend to have a contingency plan and process. So uh, if you're lucky, um, you should be able to be, become part of your company's um, pro, uh, crisis, pro, um, crisis mitigation process. You need to set clear rules, as I showed you. Um, and always clearly communicate. Um, so give the latest official statements, put them to the top of your community stream. In Yammer, you can, you can pin them, for example. And if not, someone is criticizing the same thing again, so something that has already been answered or has been tackled, um, refer them to the official statement. Don't rephrase. Uh, on the one hand, this is extra efforts to you. And um, on the other hand, uh, you will soon see that uh, you will deviate um, from the direction of your statements. So it is always better to refer to the latest official statements. And if you can, for example, in Yammer, we have a some, something that's called topic tag. It's not a hashtag. But uh, topic text can be maintained um, in an editorial way. Um, pin, collect all those um, important official statements under a certain hashtag and also pin that hashtag to your community in Yammer. You can do this to the info section or the pinned content area. Um, and also use standardized postings, um, have people um, who do these postings uh, who can also take some attacks. Um, and uh, as I already said, always refer to existing official statements. If you post, this is very, very important. Be honest and be transparent. If something has gone wrong, uh, name it and also tell the people what you're up to do against it and then follow up with that. Don't make empty promises. If you make empty promises, I can, I can tell you um, things go weird even stronger. Um, appreciate constructive feedback and also tell people what you're going to do with this feedback and prove that you take action. So tell people what you have done as an outcome of this. Um, in your post, use clear, crisp sentences and answers. Um, don't do any rephrasing of company philosophy. Here you see some references to um, Siemens Health and Years business conduct guidelines and our principles. And um, yeah, as a team, Mm, do not praise yourself. So don't like your own posts and comments. <laughs> this always shows up. Um, so better um, stay put and um, maybe uh, let others um, react on, on, on your posts and comments. And uh, if you have had an editorial plan for your community, no longer stick with that during a shitstorm, but um, act to what is appropriate, what is needed during um, this crisis, um, if you stick to your editorial plan, sometimes it might really look strange. Um, if there is a negative inciting conversation, it is also good uh, if someone asks a question for a comment in this conversation, don't answer the question there because in most of the enterprise social networks, the entire conversation goes on top of the entire stream in the, con in the community. So you highlight it. So take out the question, do a separate post and answer the question in the separate post and refer any other people who have the same question to this official post. And as I said before, be very um, 
careful with addressing people personally. They might feel offended or embarrassed. Um, and if you see that um, a close a conversation is drifting away from the original topic, if you can, in Yammer we can do this, close the conversation. Um, sometimes it's also good when, when managers, when uh, people from the leadership team show up in our conversations that go weird. Um, yeah, and if you see aggressive behavior, um, try to reach out to the people um, who are being attacked behind the scenes and encourage them to stay strong, stay strong and also ensure them um, that you will find ways um, that this is going to discontinue. And also, as soon as possible, inform your advocates and stakeholders about what uh, is going on um, because uh, they can help you to um, calm down the entire um, affair, um, but advise them that they should only refer to um, official statements, so statements made by the community managers team, so not chime in personally. And what you can also do to help your members weekly summarize the most asked questions and answers or very important weeks uh, improvements per week, this, this also helps um, to calm things down. Right, and have an action plan derived from all of that. And I'm now at the end of my presentation and I hope we still have some time for questions. Do we, Hardy? 